here, it's Diane again. I'm here with Travis and Easton. So today we are gonna talk about our fingerprints. So let's all take a moment and look at our fingerprints. I think we all have them different, right? Mm -hmm. So did you know that no fingerprints are the same? Even if you're a twin. So if you are watching us and you're a twin, know that you're a twin and you don't have the same fingerprints now. Easton, what do you think people use fingerprints for? Um, for, if a cop need, if a cop came to your school and asked you for your fingerprint, um, and they put in your fingerprint in a card, then, uh, then if you get lost, um, and a cop comes, um, comes towards you um and you are lost you can um help identify you yeah it would help the cops identify you all right and do you think they also use it to help catch bad guys too yep yes all right so for fingerprint patterns we have loop whirls and arches so we can have there's a simple way to take your fingerprints and compare them with your families. So while we can't go to school right now, we can kind of compare our fingerprints to our families and play a little game, right? So all you need are index cards and we're gonna use the blank side of the index card for part of it and then the lines for the other side. We need clear tape, pencils, and then if you need it, a pencil sharpener, right? Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna do the first one to show you what to do. On the blank side, you're going to scribble a big spot with the color, with, with the pencil here. So it's colored all up, okay? So you've got a big spot like that. Now, I'm gonna need my friend here to hold a piece of tape for me now, the biggest part of this is he already put his fingerprint on it, so we can't use that tape. So now, the biggest thing to remember is not to touch the big part of the tape that you're going to take the fingerprint up. So, Easton, if you can hold it up like this. Now, I am going to rub my finger across the pencil mark I made. And as you can see, my finger is now covered. Now I am going to take it and gently from side to side, put it across the sticky part of the tape as he holds it down for me. Cause we are going to work as a team. team. Now that he's done that, I can take it and put it on the line side and put down what finger it's to. And then I have my fingerprint. <laughs> and we can try and investigate, well, what kind of fingerprint do you guys think I have? Well, these are loops. Does my fingerprint loop around? Mm -hmm. Now these are arches. Does it arch? Mm -mm. Now these are whirls. Does it look like my fingerprint whirls? Nope. No. Yeah, it does whirl a little bit, see? But it does arch a little more here. So it kind of does an arch and then a whirl a little bit. And kind of like this. Does it look the most like this one though? Yeah. So my is a loop. Now you can do that with all of your fingers. The best part is then you can cut them out with your scissors with an adult partner and you can each write your names on the back you can take a magnifying glass if you have them and you can put them around your house and try and investigate whose fingerprint that could be in your family doesn't that sound like fun yeah, yeah. let's do it now that's what we're gonna do. 
we're gonna try and take some fingerprints of each other. Travis, do you want to try it? Uh huh. All right. But with this. Well, we're going to take the coat. This part right here. Go ahead and rub your finger. Oh, good job helping him hold it, Easton. You think he got it? Yep, I think he's got his finger. All right, Travis. Go ahead and. Let's see if he got enough of his finger. And see how tiny that one is. Now. That's a whirl. That is a whirl. You can see how tiny that one is. Even though his finger is smaller. Now he's got a whirl. Yeah, I got a whirl. And I now. A whirl. Oh, I got a whirl. We are going to try Easton's. <laughs> All right, Travis. You're gonna do that finger? All right. So I can help. You wanna help him? All right. Go ahead and put your fingerprint across. All right. Go ahead and lift. I only know what it is. Oh. So Easton has a good example of smudging. So when you go to do this. When you go to do this, try not to push down too much because then it'll be a smudge. So oh. this one, we're gonna have to try again. But that's okay no. because then we're gonna play around and we are going to make a game of it. I hope you guys have fun taking each other's fingerprints. No. Let's do it!